Hi, welcome to Belief Map. Uh, this is a free encyclopedia for exploring all the arguments and counterarguments that can come up when debating those big questions that lead up to Christianity. It's a belief map for two reasons. First, it catalogs all the evidence and objections in an enormous unfolding flowchart debate between green and red. At Belief Map, it's green that represents things a defender of Christianity would say, and what's cool is that green and red are very well prepared defenders. Each have thousands of academic citations ready, and their debate can unfold in thousands of different directions. In setting things up as a debate, answers at Belief Map can come much more quickly. Uh, it's designed so that rather than feeling like you're reading a long, boring essay, navigating it feels more like having a fast-paced conversation with an expert. However, it's also a map on a more personal level, because these questions are landmarks, and following them provides the most straightforward rational path to evidentially substantiating the basic Christian gospel. It starts with the case for God and ends with the case for Jesus' resurrection. So let me give you a two-minute crash course on how Belief Map works, and you should be set to go. At Belief Map, all these navigation points are simple claims. So consider the question, did Jesus rise from the dead? Remember, green always represents something the defender of Christianity would say, so we see green kick off the discussion with this simple proposition. Jesus was raised from death by God. Just open green's claim up here, and right below, you will instantly see all the natural directions the conversation could go from there. Green either needs evidence for his claim, or he needs to deal with objections. Directly below are the claims, which are the evidence for Green's original claim. And of course, sometimes these claims also need to be backed up until Red is satisfied. So this is like a, how do you know that? And how do you know that type of conversation? On the other hand, Red has counterclaims as well. So for example, when Green says Jesus rose, Red can object saying, no, Jesus had not even died. And because he's making a counterclaim, the arrangement flips. Now it's the evidence for Red's claim that are nested directly below and Green's possible objections follow after them. In doing this, you're going to get to see the whole academic debate mapped out. And that's just the start. There is also a pane on the right where every claim green and red makes gets fleshed out in one of these colored speech bubbles. And this means that you don't just get answers quickly. You also have the perfect summary to read off in live conversation. If necessary, below the summary are details and citations in the gray box. So backing up, the idea behind belief map is that if we progressively get yes answers to does God exist? Is Jesus a real historical figure? Does Jesus stand out as if God's chosen? And finally, was Jesus raised from death by God? If we get yes answers to those, then suddenly the gospel or good news that Christianity proclaims can be taken seriously. This is news of God's vindication of Jesus and the invitation to be cleansed of sin and know God personally through him. On this page, all that gets explained so that you can make an informed decision. And so all this together is the Belief Map Project.